Hey guys, Girl G Troll here of Floral Fighting Systems. So, I want to share, continue on with several different other blades. Uh, today, I want to share with you guys something that you don't see every day. This is Mr. Fred Perrins, crafted, designed by my good friend Lacey Zabel of Zabel Incorporated. Now, this is quite unique. That's Mr. Perrins. On there. Cool. Because this is Lacey's Jaw series. Uh, for those of you who have never heard of it or even seen it, let me tell you a little history about that. One of my very first uh, exposure to Lacey's blades was actually Jaws due to the fact that one, my Filipino martial arts training heavily emphasized on Hawkbill and Warncliffe like blades. Because of that, I immediately just saw it and said, oh my god, that's pretty cool. And by half a chance, I actually, actually managed to acquire one through an online vendor. And that was actually one of my very first Zabo blades. Of course, like all things good, I never got stuck around here in the house long enough because, well, uh, back then, I think I traded that another blade for um, another one of the custom Wartac impresses combination blade that Dr. Warden's student was selling so I actually traded that for that but it was a freaking amazing blade so when I had a chance to acquire one of these of course I did because I never saw one this small before I didn't even know didn't know that Lacey even made them this small but this must be like one of those baby series because I had a baby UUK and it looks about the similar size now what's all awesome about this particular jaws, it is, as you can see, it's a chisel grind. This means that it is grinded on one side and not both. So one side stays flat. This allows sharpening to be a whole lot easier after use. So making the jaws a very utilitarian and everyday carry and use where legal to carry. As for the size, this is I wouldn't say it's a three finger, it's almost close to just a two finger. This is the reason why I added the, what we in the house have dubbed as the rat's tail lanyard method. So by doing that, I get a full purchase of the blade while having about, give or take about two inches of blade reach. This still allows me to execute any of the FFS and essential coming to the street symbol techniques. So that's great. Uh, definitely a four grip knife and even if you manage to get that little, I said about half an inch sharpen at the back. So I'm not sure if that's sharp, but you could probably. It does still need a good decent sharpening. And this is no longer mine. Um, shout out to Matt again. Thank you. Matt, you're getting a close look at your blade before they're shipped to you. If only I get this damn camera. No, there it is. So there you go. Now if you look, the back looks like it can be grinded. It can be sharpened and I highly recommend you do so when you get it if you like to put this to use in a full capacity. You should get the back sharpened. You could use that back edge to do some cutting if necessary for close quarter work. So, very unique blade. Uh, Lazy had a lot of different series on this. There was a uh, biggest one that I required was from one of my Contact Brothers, John, how are you? Hopefully everything's well. Uh, that one was a Greco Jaws. That was like literally about this big. And I thought, Jesus Christ, that's most monstrosity, but pretty wicked knife. But this, so purpose of small blades like this, where does it lie? I say it's in the realms of EDC, so everyday carry, and plus utilitarian versus uh, combat or defensive applications. It can be though, but it's more towards cutting boxes, opening mails, and cutting the shoe cords, stuff like that. So, just a really super handy blade. Of course, I did my wrapping on it. So this thing here has G Innovation single rich wrap in hemp cord. However, because this is a skeletal cut and there's a cutout underneath this, if you look at the bare steel, um, when I wrapped it, it didn't stay completely flat when I lacquered it, but it just created this 
even cooler texture that I did not expect. So you got textures on both sides. And this single ridge wrap allows it to fill into that hand much better like a palm swell. So there you go. So this is a... So G, what's up with the recent change of blades and why are you getting into the research and coming out something new? Well, right now guys, I'm currently searching for the perfect blades that accompanies and brings out the best of floral fighting systems and also essential colors with Tracy Bond. So I am still researching. When I think I found the best blade, it hits me to research back to the blades that I kind of no longer used or haven't put my hands on and being an instructor, uh, edge weapons specialist, as some of my students have stated, I have, a t I have handled a lot of different blades. So I'm just looking back to my old archives and I'm looking at some of the blades that I haven't handled in a while that I believe may be something that I have overlooked something that has a good attributes for application with floral fighting systems and essential colors with Tracy Moore. So on that note, stay tuned. This is still an ongoing research. We'll see where this leads to. But right now, well, this was part of that particular research and I found that interesting. So what did this research research teach me? And there's Mr. Paris. Little signature stamp right there. There it is. The research has led me to believe the following. Uh, my contact brother Lacey Zabo is a genius. He is an amazing martial artist. Uh, just his designs itself literally speaks combat. So he, he's got the skills and he knows how to put to use, especially in crafting these. And the key thing is just finding the right maker who could bring that best of Lacey's design into reality. Mr. Parents definitely, uh, I say, is probably one of the best who could do that. But sadly, he is super busy out here. So, and there's a new gentleman that Lacey, that's producing Lacey's UUKs, uh, both the original UUK with original spices and also his vampire UUK, which looks phenomenal. Sadly, as I was telling Lacey, when originally the lads wanted to get both of them in, we did get the UK in for a while. Uh, the vampire, the lads kind of lost interest in it for the following reason. It wasn't that they didn't see the need for it or they didn't think it was applicable. The problem was after getting the UK, one of the things that the lads didn't like was the weight. That was the one thing they did not really anticipate too well towards. So this is the reason why we're sizing down. So I think that after this, that's the reason why I decided to grab this to test some few concepts and theories out and it's exactly as what I thought. So what we're going next after this is we're going to look at Lacey's blade designs and select the one blade that we haven't put to use in an extensive period of time. So stay tuned on my YouTube channel for the next reviews because it will be all about Zabo blades. And along with this I'll explain why FFS is what in my professional opinion is the best system for me to be executing Lacey's tools with. So on that side stay tuned and as always thank you very much 